Arau. Today, February 11. This is Takano. Gyotok in Ichikawa. I am now coming in Gyotok uh, Yachokoyan. Gyotok uh, National Park. This area is not so far away from my home. I came here by using my bicycle. I came here within five minutes. I would like to show you my, my bike. My bike. This is Gyotoku National Birds. <laughs> Later, I will show you the scene of birds. Yeah. Today is a hot day, warmer day in the winter season, so I came here. Today I would like to explain on uh, English, English, yeah. 2020, after three years future, uh, Japan has for entrance examination. Every uh, national or university will introduce in English entrance examination are speaking, speaking, yeah. I am a chief director of JPA, Japan Presentation Association. Uh, uh, for me, it's a fortunate because I am a trainer for presentation, presentation, uh, both in Japanese and English, yeah. From now on, such a phenomena, uh, every national university will introduce, uh, try introduce English speaking. This is very nice, very nice, yeah. Uh, until now, Japanese has been said, uh, Japanese don't like to speak out in English because, that's uh, because, uh, Japanese people are slightly different from ASEAN people in in case of speaking English. Yeah, Japanese people don't like to make the mistakes in using words or grammar or some sentence. To say about India people in India, they speak fluently English, but sometimes they mistake in grammar or using words. But they don't take care of that. They are speaking so speedily and so harshly compared to Japanese. Yeah. And the Thai people, they are speaking a style of Thai English. And the Filipino also, they speaking a Filipino style English, and it's same to Vietnam Z and uh, Vietnam Z and uh, every kind, every uh, company in the ASEAN company, they are using their own style English. That is the reality. Uh, yeah. They are speaking English is absolutely different from a native speaker of New York or a Queen's English speaker in London. It's absolutely different. But Japanese people in the educational area, the school strongly uh, recommended to use Queen's English of the United Kingdom or a style of American English. Yeah. But to see the reality in the ASEAN countries, every country in ASEAN 
region. They speak in their own English. Thai people speaking Thai English. Yeah. So I think、uh, Japanese should speak in a Japanese style English. Just, just no problem, I think, if they use Japanese style English. Oh, there's coming so many birds. Would you like to see so many birds? So many birds. Oh, coming. So many birds. Okay. Shall we start again? Yeah. I started English studying when I was 15 years old, when I entered the junior high school in Izuoshima. Izuoshima is my native town. Yeah. And after starting English training, it has been passed about 40 years. 40. No, 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 no. 50 years has been passed. But even now, I don't have the self confidence to speak in Queen's English or、uh, United Kingdom or、uh, a speaker of New York. It's absolutely different from such a native speaker. That is true. I have an、uh, inferior complex. But to become the age of me, about over 60 years, I decided to imitation of the American or people in the United Kingdom. It's nonsense. It's out of date of me to become a native speaker of English. So I decided to be a Japanese English speaker.